This is Tom and Paula Grace from Light of Christ Radio with a story from our series, Turning the World Upside Down. These are the stories of the first part of the book of Acts. These tell us what Jesus continued to do and teach through his spiritual body, the church. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, the believers began to turn the world upside down. You are welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. The small group study instructions are below the video in the more section. Today's story is from Acts 5 and is the story of the apostles persecuted. Well, Paula, as we begin our conversation today, let's look at the context of our story. After the Holy Spirit fell on Pentecost, the number of Jesus' followers increased because the Spirit empowered them to do miracles. And also the Jewish leadership arrested Peter and John after the healing of a beggar at the temple and commanded them to stop teaching in the name of Jesus. But after the release from prison... Peter and John and the rest of the apostles continued to preach and perform miracles. Then great awe fell on the people after Ananias and Sapphira died after lying to God. And so the miracles continued. Even the shadow of Peter falling on people would heal them, which brings us to a story from the word of God. The high priest and all the other Sadducees who were with him became jealous. They arrested the apostles and put them in the city jail. But that night, an angel from the Lord opened the doors of the jail and led the apostles out. The angel said, go to the temple and tell the people everything about this new life. So they went into the temple before sunrise and started teaching. The high priest and his men called together their council, which included all of Israel's leaders. Then they ordered the apostles to be brought to them from jail. The temple police who were sent to the jail did not find the apostles. They returned and said, We found the jail locked tight and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened the doors and went in, we didn't find anyone there. The captain of the temple police and the chief priests listened to the report, but they did not know what to think about it. Just then, someone came in and said, Now those men you put in jail are in the temple teaching the people. The captain went with some of the temple police and brought the apostles back, but they did not use force. They were afraid that the people might start throwing stones at them. And when the apostles were brought before the council, the high priest said to them, We told you plainly not to teach in the name of Jesus, but look what you've done. You've been teaching all over Jerusalem, and you're trying to blame us for his death. Peter and the apostles replied, We don't obey people. We obey God. You killed Jesus by nailing him to a cross. But the God of our ancestors worshiped, raised him to life, and made him our leader and savior. Then God gave him a place at his right side so that the people of Israel would turn back to him and be forgiven. We are here to tell you about all of this. And so is the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to everyone who obeys God. When the council members heard this, they became so angry, they wanted to kill the apostles. But one of the members was the Pharisee Gamaliel, a highly respected teacher, and he ordered the apostles to be taken out of the room for a little while. And then he said to the council, Men of Israel, be careful what you do with these men. Not long ago, Thaddeus claimed to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him. But he was killed, and all his followers were scattered. That was the end of that. And Gamaliel continued, later, when the people of our nation were being counted, Judas from Galilee showed up. A lot of people followed him, but he was killed and all his followers were scattered. So I advise you to stay away from these men. Leave them alone. If what they are planning is something of their own doing, it will fail. But if God is behind it, you cannot stop it anyway, unless you fight against God. The council members agreed with what he said, and they called the apostles back in. They had them beaten with a whip and warned them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and then they let them go. The apostles left the council and were happy because God had considered them worthy to suffer for the sake of Jesus. Every day they spent time in the temple and in one home after another. They never stopped teaching and telling the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. And this is our story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for a small group application, after watching this video, try retelling the story from what you have heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below the video in the more section. We hope you'll discover something from this story to apply to your everyday life. May you be blessed.